Friday the 6th of November at the end of our first week back after half term. A few items to update on this week, um, falling broadly into three categories, a few things on health and safety, an update on our lunch arrangements, and finally, just again, an update on some of our new learning platforms, class charts and teams that we introduced last half term. So firstly, with regards to health and safety, the times of the day for the start of the school day have changed slightly, as you know, for this week for all students. Could we just ask for your support in making sure that students don't arrive to school too early. The reason for this is that they cannot access the building until their allocated time. And obviously with the weather becoming colder, um, we don't want groups of students stood around outside school in the cold. And also thinking about our neighbours as well and making sure that we maintain um, a calm atmosphere around, around the school site. So school students must be in school on time, but please, if they could avoid arriving too early and then having to stand outside school, that would be appreciated. Secondly, on face coverings, something we've talked about a lot this term, again, a huge thank you to all families and to students um, who are supporting us in bringing their face coverings to school each day and wearing those around the building. We have, however, still got a significant number of students each day who are not bringing a face covering with them. And whilst we do have a supply um, of spare disposable uh, face coverings, when necessary that's not um, an unlimited supply and i would really urge you to try and make sure that your child has a, a reusable face covering that can be washed at home and that they bring that with them every single day as part of their uniform and equipment so thank you for your support there and finally under sort of the, the banner of health and safety really um, again, one of our measures to ensure um, that we've got good respiratory hygiene around the school is to make sure that the building remains ventilated. So even though we're moving into the colder autumn and winter months, classroom windows will be, main, will be kept open throughout this period to ensure that we've got that clean and fresh air flow coming through the building. So again, if I could urge you to make sure that uh, students come to school with appropriate layers so that they are warm enough as we move through the, the, the colder part of the year. Thank you. Moving on then to lunchtime arrangements. As you know from the update I did before half term, from this week, we have reintroduced the um, facility for students who are buying their lunch in school to eat that in the dining hall. And each year group has a 15 to 20 minute um, time allocation where they can purchase their lunch and eat that either inside or if they choose to, they can take it outside to eat. They cannot take food from the dining hall up to form rooms um, anymore. And the only students who should be eating in their form rooms now are students who bring packed lunches. And again, they will have um, an allocation of time, 15 to 20 minutes at the start of lunchtime, and then they too should be going outside to join the rest of their year group, unless of course, um, we've got wet or very inclement weather. So if you could uh, support us in reminding students of these new arrangements, that would be appreciated. And then finally, to um, our new platforms that we introduced last uh, half term, um, Class Charts and Microsoft Teams. We've been so impressed by the way that our students have adapted to using these platforms for their learning, both within school and when working at home. Again, if I could encourage you to ensure that you have access to class charts so that you can check your child's homework or in the event that they have to work at home, the remote learning that is set for them. Um, and again, as well as the work aspect, you will be able to monitor your child's behaviour and hopefully see lots of the fantastic rewards that they will be receiving for the work that they're doing in and around our school community. So just to recap, health and safety arrive in time, but not too early for school. Please ensure students have masks with them every single day. And again, appropriate layers as we move into the winter months. Lunch arrangements, students need to stick to the times allocated for their year groups. And again, class charts and teams, if you have any issues accessing um, those platforms, please do get in touch and we can support with that. I hope as we move into this first weekend of our next national lockdown, that you and your family remain safe. And if there's anything at all that you need, please do get in touch. We look forward to seeing students on Monday. Thank you.